What's up guys, Takedown here, and today I'm going to be talking about and giving my opinions on the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2018. I'm really excited of who's getting inducted this year. I think they all deserve it in some way, shape, or form. So to start things off, I'm going to share who's getting inducted in this year, if you haven't already heard or seen. And that is, to start things off, we have Ivory, we have Hillbilly Jim, Jeff Jarrett, JJ is getting the Warrior Award. We have the Dudley Boys, Mark Henry, Goldberg, and for the celebrity induction this year, we have Kid Rock. So I'm going to talk about Kid Rock first just because I'm really happy and a lot of people uh, don't like the celebrity wing. I'm not a fan of it most of the time, most years, but this year I'm a really happy that it's Kid freaking Rock. So Kid Rock, the reason I'm happy that it's Kid Rock going in this year he performed at my favorite WrestleMania, WrestleMania 25. Back then, I had phases with my musicians. So that year was Kid Rock, and he performed at WrestleMania. That was back whenever I was heavily into WrestleMania. And by far, we had Hardy versus Hardy. We had the triple threat for the World Heavyweight Championship. All in all, it was a great pay-per-view, a great WrestleMania. And I'm really glad that Kid Rock is going in this year. He has, I think, had more songs for... Uh, wrestling pay-per-views for WWE pay-per-views than any other artist so to me he's deserving of it I know other years there's some people that get inducted in the celebrity wing that don't deserve it but this year I really believe he deserves it more than anybody he was actually a prediction I made a few years ago of future celebrity wing uh, hall of famers for the WWE so I'm really happy that it has come true a lot of the hall of famers this year I don't have too many memorable moments uh, in their career, mostly some of them would be because I never started watching until either after their career or near the end of their career. To start things off, that would be Ivory. I don't know anything or much about Ivory other than she uh, lost the Women's Championship to the Great Moolah, I believe. Making Great Moolah the uh, oldest person to win a WWE Championship in, the, in her late 70s. So that's pretty cool, but I don't know anything other than that about her. Hillbilly Jim, I do know a little bit. I do like his matches. I have watched some of them. But I don't have too many memorable moments, in my opinion, that really stay strong with me. But I still believe he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame nonetheless. Jeff Jarrett. This year, almost every year, there's an uh, inductee that is a shocker to us fans. This year, Jeff Jarrett was my shocker. Mainly because he is the creator of WWE, one of WWE's biggest rivalries. Uh, brand rivalries would be TNA and he also has Global Force Wrestling so I don't know if he's still in charge running them it was kind of odd that WWE inducted him this year he did do great things back in the day when he was in the WWE it just seems like an odd placement this year in the WWE Hall of Fame for 2018 I, I like it but it just seems odd to me and I don't remember too many matches of him when he was in the WWE, I mostly remember when he was in TNA, but uh, I so I can't say much about him. Next up, we have the Dudley Boys, which I'm glad WWE is, I don't know, kind of remembering ECW guys, guys that performed well in ECW as well as WWE, because the Dudley Boys, in my opinion, are one of my favorite tag teams of all time. Love them when they're in ECW. Now I love them whenever they made their return. Uh, when Bubble Ray Dudley made his return to the Royal Rumble and then they made a return. I don't remember them winning the Tag Team Championships. That would have been fun. I would, really wish I would have seen that. But I do remember uh, in a live show, because I've seen this on Facebook whenever it happens. During a live show, uh, back whenever uh, Devon Dudley retired in the ring. He stated that he was retiring. I predicted that in the future... Of course, they're going to go in the Hall of Fame. They are amazing, a great tag team. They've had tons of titles, and they had a great run. So I'm really happy they're going in this year. We also have, my, in my opinion, actually, I'm going to save that my opinion for last of who I think uh, I love this year the most that's going in the Hall of Fame. So I will stay Goldberg next. I don't remember him too much. The only matches I remember while I was watching WWE is when he returned to win the Universal Championship. Uh, before that, I think, was to face Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series. I think that's when they faced for the first time. 
So back then is whenever I, whenever that happened in 2016, that's what I remember the most uh, whenever he made his return. Because back whenever he was in the WWE and WCW, I wasn't into wrestling. I never watched wrestling back then. Hell, I might not have even been born at the time. So I don't remember his highlights so much. I never started watching wrestling until the early 07, 08. So he wasn't around then, but I'm glad he made a return. I think he deserves it, in my opinion. I just don't remember him too much to have a memorable moment yet again. But the person, which you guys probably guessed already who I saved for last, that I just, I, I just really think they deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. I predicted this years ago. I was actually going to make a video like this saying who I think will be in the Hall of Fame, and he was already uh, on that list, but I didn't get to record that yet. And that is Mark Henry. Now, Mark Henry, I'm so excited he's getting in the Hall of Fame this year. He let his in-ring contract run out, I believe, kind of like Big Show did, kind of like Finley did back in the day, uh, to become a WWE producer. So I'm happy that he still has a role in the WWE. He has been inducted into the sports Hall of Fame for his weightlifting. He started in the Olympics. He has more records broken, like in strongman competitions, than anybody else that I would even be able to list. So he's had a great run in the WWE. And back whenever he got signed after being out of the Olympics, WWE signed him to the biggest contract back in the day uh, that I've ever seen. And it's probably going to hold to this day. I, I'd have to go and double check that. But he had a 10-year contract offered to him as soon as he joined the WWE. That's what WWE um, signed him to, a 10-year contract, which back in the day, at least to my knowledge, nobody got big contracts like that. Most of the time, they got like a two- or three-year contract. Mark Henry, one of my favorite people. I liked him when he was face. I liked him when he was heel. I liked him when he teamed with MVP. I liked him when he created and still has the... Hall of Pain. He's just one of the creators and one of the wrestlers that really embraces his character, but he's nice in the public. He's not an ass or anything like that. He's an amazing person. Became the world champion. And I just have so many more memorable moments with Mark Henry watching him over the years than anybody else getting inducted this year. So that's why Mark Henry is my top inductee for the 2018 WWE Hall of Fame. I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Comment down below who should be in next year's Hall of Fame because so I'm going to make a prediction video after Mania for that because I have so much on the go right now. I just don't have time to make a video like that. And comment who you don't believe should be inducted this year in the 2018 Hall of Fame that has already been decided that they're going in this year. Take care. Peace.